Hey guys, okay, I know this is a really weird setting and not where you would usually find me But get comfortable because I'm gonna teach you how to lose that weight that you've been waiting to lose and making excuses for and I'm gonna tell you the easy way to do it because guess what? It's not as hard as we make it out to be and even if you've been struggling if you're on the right path And you just need some more motivation if you need some tips and tricks Let's say little secrets to get you to the next point and you're just frustrated with your lack of progress this is definitely the video for you. I am in the best shape that I've been in in my entire life. And honestly, I think it's about time we stop comparing ourselves to our high school bodies because our high school bodies were, you know, growing, learning, just babies. We were babies. But at this point, I feel like I've even surpassed that level of comparison with my high school body because now I know I'm a woman and I feel this way and I look this way and I'm proud because I worked for it. And yes, there is gonna be work that's gonna go into your dream body. I'm sorry, that's kinda how it is for everything, right? There's gonna be work that goes into achieving anything that you achieve. If it comes easy, it probably is gonna leave easy. And like, sorry. I know that's not what everybody wants to hear, but I do have some ways to make it easier that almost feel like it's too easy which is why i wanted to make this video because i've been in this place where i over over complicate it i do so much research i start going so deep into how can i lose weight fast how can i lose weight fast and easy and i'm watching these videos and i'm like so inspired and then two days later i'm like damn it i ate so much shit and now i don't feel like getting back into the grind and this just cycle of eating bad continues and it just never actually ends and you just can't be consistent with your routine and your diet until you start building some habits so i know that was a little bit of a long intro but what i want you to do right now is not grab a snack unless you want one i mean come on just do what you need to do grab a pen and a paper and write down one goal that you have in terms of your weight loss journey, your health journey, whatever it is. So when I started this, I wrote to lose three pounds. Realistic, I know I can get it done within the next month. And it's something that if I saw that difference, I would feel motivated to write, lose three more pounds, maybe lose another pound, whatever your goals are, right? For some people, you might not need to lose the weight, but you might wanna shape up. You might want to tone up. I know you're here on this video because you want to lose weight and you want to get chiseled and you want to get snatched and you want to get toned. So those are your goals. Go ahead and write down one realistic goal. Now, I'm going to teach you how to achieve that goal. And what you're going to do is everything that I have to say, if you find something valuable, if you find something important and you find, I can do this, I can incorporate this, I can try this, write it down. And at the end of the video, go back and look at everything you wrote and start incorporating it tomorrow, today, tonight, whatever. Start incorporating it and that's how you're gonna get shit done. Number one is buying a big ass water bottle. I know you don't wanna hear this, but you need the water, sis. You need the water, it's good for your skin, it's good for your nails, it's good for your hair, you need it. Don't drink like so much water where you're like, oh my God, why am I drinking so much water? But definitely have a source of water for, there for you because you guys don't even know how much water I drink. Like, I'm surprised. I'm like, if I didn't have a water bottle, would I even be drinking this? Like, if I'm thirsty and I don't have a water bottle, I'm usually like, Eh, I'll figure it out. And then I feel dehydrated like the next day, you know what I mean? So you never know. Go to Winners, go to Marshalls, go to HomeSense, go to Amazon, buy a cute ass water bottle and drink out of it all the time. Whether it's like sparkly and pink, just whatever speaks to you, get it and incorporate it. This is your journey. This isn't anyone else's journey. So do it the way you are happy. You don't need to get a steel Stanley cup if you don't want to. You can get a pink sparkly water bottle that says, life is precious and has little butterflies or whatever all over it you know what i mean this is your journey whatever works for you is going to be specific to you so cater it to you with that being said we're going to start intermittent fasting if you're not already because that is the number one hack to start losing weight you have how many hours in a day where you're allowed to eat well now if you shorten that window there's literally less time that you're eating aids in digestion because it gives your body a break to actually break down the food that you ate previously and it actually helps to eat less calories nobody wants to hear the word calories anymore but guess what you need to you need to eat at a deficit if you want to lose weight what that means is say i'm walking around like this every single day i'm breathing i'm sleeping i'm eating my specific body is burning x amount of calories and by x i mean whatever it is depending on me yours can be different yours will be different depending on your size your health your fact all these factors how much sleep you're getting how much exercise you're getting so you can actually go ahead and research that yourself it's very easy you just google 
Um, what are what is my basal metabolic rate? Basal metabolic rate is how much calories you're burning just existing without exercise at all. So if you don't want to exercise, you don't have to exercise to lose weight. All you have to do is you should be eating less than your basal metabolic rate because that means somewhere there's extra calories that are being burned that equals fat being lost. So 3,500 calories is one pound of fat. If over a month you've made a 3,500 calorie deficit, then you are losing one pound of fat. You can speed this up by exercising. You'll burn more calories by exercising. You can speed this up by eating less food. And I don't like to eat less food personally. What I like to do is I like to volume eat. And what does that mean? It means I'm just eating a lot more foods that are lower in calories. Now let me list some of those foods for you. Cucumbers, lettuce, popcorn, carrots, mostly of every vegetable. Vegetables, I don't even like acknowledge them as calories. I just think they're free food and I go in and I eat as many as I can and as I want. Not only is it helping me stay full longer, it's giving me healthy carbs, it's giving me antioxidants, it's giving me vitamins, it's giving me all that good stuff that I want that I used to be scared of. I used to be scared of vegetables because I'm like, oh God, season them. Seasoning is everything. Seasoning is zero calories. You don't even need to worry about seasoning as long as you're not overdoing it and overtaking sodium. Seasoning is everything. Like go crazy with the seasoning. Honestly, it's so good. You can make any food taste delicious and you can find alternatives to foods that you already love. So I actually don't not allow myself to eat anything. I eat everything that I want. If I want mayonnaise, I go for the light mayo. If I want sour cream, I go light. If I want cheese, I go for a circle of baby bell. It's like 45 calories instead of a block that's maybe 150 or 200. If you're eating chicken, cook it yourself. Get some lean ground turkey or chicken and cook it with some zero calorie taco seasoning, Valentina sauce at zero calories. Put it in some corn tortillas, get smaller tortillas, get lower calorie options for food that you're already eating, okay? And you can eat so much more, okay? And I'm the kind of person who will still go to McDonald's, still go to Wendy's, because I like to treat myself and I don't like to feel like I'm, I'm on a diet. I don't like to feel like I'm doing this to myself. This is like a lifestyle thing. So if I want McDonald's, if I want Taco Bell, I go get that stuff because if I'm eating clean 80% of the time, then 20% of the time, I should allow myself to eat whatever I want without feeling guilty. And that's where exercise comes in. So exercising wise, if you don't want to exercise like crazy, my recommendation to you is really exercise for 20 minutes a day. And exercise can mean walking around your block, walking up and down your stairs, put on your headphones, listen to an audio book, listen to some music, you know? Talk to your friends on the phone while you go for a walk. Ask your friends to go on a walk with you. Anything, do some squats along the way. Think of it as free calories. Think of it as this walk, I don't need to do it. I'll be fine without it, but it's making me, it's gonna make me feel a little bit better in a couple days. You're not gonna feel it right away. You're not gonna feel good right away after exercising, but if you keep doing it for like two weeks, you will start getting that instant gratification. Like, damn. This is nice. You get addicted to the feeling of dopamine. You get addicted to the serotonin that you get from actually completing a workout because your body knows like, I'm gonna be so like healthy. I'm gonna be so good. I'm gonna feel so great in a few days. My back is getting stronger. My arms are getting stronger. I'm able to actually hold my body weight. I actually don't want junk anymore because my body is like doing so well. Like it's kind of all together, you know what I mean? So if you don't wanna go crazy and work out all the time, don't but do a little something. If you do 10 minutes a day and you stick to that 10 minutes, I promise you, you're gonna lose weight. You're gonna lose weight. If you do all these things that I'm telling you to do, you're gonna lose weight. And if you work out for 10 minutes, even 10 minutes, you're gonna be like, well, why don't I just do another five minutes? Why don't I just walk around for another 10 minutes tomorrow? Why don't I make it 30 minutes the next day? Because I'm actually enjoying it and I'm seeing that I'm kind of slimming down a little bit and feeling good and drinking more water and eating more healthy food because I'm like kind of treating this like a little game. I'm treating it like a little puzzle. I'm treating it like a little, you know, like let's see how far it can go. Like enjoying it, just like a little, what is the word I'm looking for? Experiment almost to see how healthy I can really be. And that's kind of how I look at it. I look at it as an experiment to see how healthy can I be? How good can it be? You know, of course I'm gonna have the foods that I always have and the things that I always love to have. Otherwise I'll go crazy. And I want to, I want to have them. I enjoy the taste of, of McDonald's. I enjoy the taste of butter chicken some nights with my family's, whatever I want to do, you know? But at the end of the day, still, without that, how good can I really be? And that feeling is a little bit addictive, but I feel like as long as there's a balance and you keep it 
you know, good and consistent, it won't be unhealthy unless you take it too far and you start counting every little calorie. I mean, I've been in that place too. And you know what, it, it, it was okay because I knew that at the end of the day, um, I was still having my little cheat meals and stuff and I don't count calories anymore. And I think that's more because I, I kind of know <laughs> the calories and everything from my calorie counting days. And it depends who you're talking to. Like, obviously you're not gonna tell everybody to count their calories, but if you feel like you're mentally okay to count calories and it's not gonna drive you crazy, you should do it. If you feel like, no, it's too much for you, don't do it, you know? Don't take advice from me just because I'm telling you what to do online. This is just my experience and I feel like I was able to take it. I didn't care too much. If I failed, I would have just got back up. I was, you know, okay with the results. Okay, now we're gonna touch on portion control, which is you can eat anything that you want, but just don't overeat. Listen to your body, listen to when you're full, listen to when you are like, am I still hungry or am I just wanting more flavor in my mouth? And it's okay to eat when you want more flavor in your mouth too. Just pick those foods like rice cakes, maybe with some, you know, there's so many alternatives. If you guys want me to make a video of everything that I eat in a day or a week, let me know, cause I can definitely include that. There's a lot of good ideas that I've like cultivated over the last couple of like months that I'm like, hey, this is amazing. I'm not feeling like I'm missing out on anything. I'm eating everything that I want. And I'm still toning up and losing weight despite all the food that I'm still able to eat. So portion control is very important. I eat everything that I want. I just don't eat it until I, I'm sick. I eat it until I am satisfied. And I think listening to your body and listening to your brain and listening to your mind is a really good indicator of when you can kind of expect to be full, you know? Um, take some vitamins. If you guys want a video on vitamins and supplements that I take, I don't take too many. And I know it's controversial whether they are actually efficient or not. For me, I do feel a difference. So I continue to take certain ones, uh, including vitamin D, because I'm deficient and I do get blood work done. So obviously get blood work for yourself and see what vitamins could benefit you depending on your body. It'll help you feel a lot better if you are deficient in certain things as well. Talk to your doctor about that. And then lastly, I'm gonna say is your nighttime routine. Your sleep, and not just your sleep, but your routine. So what I do is I make a nice cup of tea before bed. It really tells my body it's bedtime, settle down. Um, a hot cup of water even. It really, really, really does help me. I do have a bloating drink that I like to have sometimes that are just really good natural ingredients such as like turmeric, lemon, black pepper, honey, um, that sort of thing that really does help me kind of flush out things. I believe it helps. Doing a little bit of yoga, putting on my pink light, my purple light in my room that kind of helps me, you know, produce melatonin and also feel as if I am ready for bed because bed is a big deal. Read, get off your phone for a couple of hours before you go to bed, which I'm guilty of, but you know, that's a good habit. Have a, a cup of water beside you and get cozy, get comfortable, take a hot shower and go to bed. That's really my routine. I usually don't eat after about eight o'clock, but my biggest meal is my last meal because I don't wanna go to bed and then two hours later I'm like, I'm starving. I don't like to go to bed starving. As soon as I start eating, I eat around 12.30 to one o'clock, sometimes even later, sometimes two o'clock, and I finish eating around 8 p.m. and I go to sleep by 10 and I wake up at eight. Get your sleep, get your, you know, vitamins, get your food, see how many calories you should be eating and do it. Girl, you got this. If you start tomorrow or if you start today, you'll see a difference in two weeks, less than two weeks. Like you'll literally feel a difference in two weeks. You'll see a difference in three weeks. Like you're gonna look amazing and this is the perfect time to start. So let me know if you guys have any more questions about anything that I said. Let me know if you have uh, any video requests in terms of if you want me to make videos about my food intake, what I eat in a day, that sort of thing, and or my vitamins, whatever. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit on the longer side, but I really, really wanted to make it. I felt like it was important because I've been thinking about this lately. And I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys in my next video.